This is the plaintiff, Ryan Joyce. He says the defendant's his former landlord, and he was unfairly blamed for breaking the washing machine when he lived there. Now that he's gone, he can't get the defendant to return the money she owes him for rent he paid. He's not going to just walk away from his hard-earned money like that and is suing her in this court today for the $1,225 he's owed. This is the defendant, Trina. She says the plaintiff overloaded her washer, which caused a leak, and she had to have a repair guy come over, and she needed to buy a new machine. The plaintiff agreed to make payments on the new machine because he broke it, but the liar never did. This guy's just one of those disgruntled tenants looking for a payday, but the judge will see right through him like the cheesecloth he is, and he will leave a loser today. She's accused of being all washed up. The defendant has bought a counter suit for $2,021.37, the cost of a new washing machine and rent owed. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court next case. In the docket, the plaintiff says his former landlord blamed him unfairly for breaking the washing machine. But the defendant says the plaintiff overloaded the washer. It's the case of one vicious cycle. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, man. Mr. Joyce, you yes. were living in a house owned by Trina, and you have been living there for how long? Oh, honestly, I was only there from July 6th, I believe, to uh -huh. November 26th. Okay. It was Black Friday or Saturday that I moved out. Okay. Black so Friday. what caused you to move out? There was an argument about a, a washing machine. Right. Well, it started with that. I mean, honestly. And what was it? Tell me about it. What yeah, happened? sure. Um, I don't feel like I broke it. I mean, it wasn't even my stuff that was Okay, in but there. what was it they said? Hey, you broke it because we feel you broke it because what? What was Because sick? it was shaking violently originally. Um, while you were using it? While, while I was using it. What did yeah. you have in there? I had uh, a couple towels and uh, maybe two pairs of jeans. Did you have a comforter in there? No, I never did. Okay. So it, so you feel it just breaks down while you're using it and you got right. blamed Right, and for I was it. like maybe the second the last one to use it. I don't even think I was the last one to use it. All right. So honest. did she confront you and say you broke the machine? Yeah, she basically and just And what do you say? I said I wasn't sure. I mean, I honestly just signed the agreement because yeah, I was I, afraid I'm of being Yeah, cuz I'm curious because you end up signing an agreement saying you broke the machine. Why'd you sign it? Because honestly, I was afraid of being evicted. And um, I mean, I, I know it wasn't explicitly stated that I was going to be evicted if I didn't sign it, but I mean, that was pretty much implied. I mean. Well, you left anyway. I left anyway. I... <laughs> so why, why would I believe you had this great fear of being evicted when you made the decision to leave just a few days later anyway? Well, what it was, what, what it came down to was um, she, I think she was gone for like a week and uh, I had an altercation with uh, Aisha's son so Trina's girlfriend lives there too? Yes. Okay, is that you? Yes, ma'am. Okay, come on up. So you end up having an altercation with her son. Was her son living there? Yes, he moved from Sacramento. Okay, was... and so he was living there, and what was the altercation about? He, it was very late at night, and I had to work in the morning, so I ended What up, time is very late at night? Uh, like 1230. Okay, that's late at night. Go so, ahead. I mean, um, you know, it started around 10. I, I finished watching a show that I like, and I heard him talking on the phone, like, really loud, but I was like, oh, it's no big deal. It's only 10 o'clock. Well, two and, a, two, two and a half hours went by of that, and I just kind of lost my cool. And uh, honestly okay, because out. he was speaking loudly on the he was phone? He speaking loudly on the phone. Where uh, was using, he physically? He was in the kitchen. And uh, basically, what, what was going on was he was swearing, um, he was just profanities, yelling profanities, talking about, you know, people who jump people are clowns. I mean, he kept going people back to that. People who what? Jump people are clowns. So it's literally okay. what he said over and over again. You know, I, I just felt like I was, like, losing brain cells by listening All to him. All right, so when you walk out, what do you tell him? Hey, man, come on. Like, you know, shut up. I did swear at him. I don't okay. care about that. And then what did he say to you? Uh, he said, okay, all right, I'm sorry. Okay, so then what happens? She comes back into town and she sends you a text that says, listen, we should talk about what happened. And what do you do? All right, well, she sent me a text saying, hey, we have to have a discussion. Um, but I guess it, it was more along the lines of, I already felt like I was being set up for the washing machine. So I figured out she was setting me up again to kick me out. Well, that's not a setup. She could, you're on a month-to-month -month tenancy, right? Right. 
So all anybody has to do if they want you out is say, you have 30, I'm giving you notice, 30 days from now you have to go. There's no setup. You don't have a right to live there. No, that's for, true. Right. That's right. So uh, what, her text specifically said we should talk about what happened. It didn't say anything more, right? No. Maybe I jumped. I all might right. Jumped so then, w then what happens? You tell her what? I tell her that I'm, I'm, I just feel like it's best if I leave. Okay. In, in but like how much weeks. notice did you give her? Gave her like, uh, I think I gave her about two weeks. And then you do leave, mm -hmm. right? You're suing today because you gave her $100 after agreeing you'd pay for the washing machine. You went out and bought a washing machine that cost how much? Um, I believe it was $648, Your Honor. Plus your uh, three-year warranty, plus you know some I other some... stuff. So I, I have a, a question for you. How old was that washing machine? The machine was eight years old. If, if I break an eight-year-old washing machine, why would I buy you a brand new three-year warrantied new washing machine? Your, your measure of damages is what the person broke. The person broke something that if you tried to sell it at a flea market, you'd get how much? That's what the amount is. So I'm kind of curious. Why were you making him pay $800? Understandable. And what proof did you have that he broke it anyway? Well, the machine, I had no um, prior issues to the machine. It was working perfectly. Other than it was eight years old. Correct. Um, but I had no physical issues where it wasn't making any sounds uh, used for- Yes, like, I know. And then what? Um, my partner here, uh, Ms. Robinson- You came, tell me if it was you who saw something. Go ahead. I did. Um, I was in the room, um, our bedroom, and I hear this loud, doom, 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 like a really thumping, sound and I opened the door and it was the washer and I knocked on the door and asked Ryan was he doing laundry and he said yes okay so I hurried up and tried to figure out how to shut the washer off right what did was, he do to break it he had a comforter his like all his laundry was in the washer right but what did he do to break it he overloaded it <laughs> yeah much. but it sounds like the noises that you're talking about sound like you know, there's some like a belt broke or something that's making the. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It, it so had have a you had this? Let me ask you a question. Did mm -hmm. you have somebody come out and diagnose how it broke? I spoke to my repairman. That um, you know, he's a, a plumber. Did he before. see it? He did not see it. Oh, so he doesn't know what was wrong with it. Yeah. All right. So let's talk about what you're suing for. You're suing for the hundred that you gave her. You want that back. When you say in your lawsuit, $750 for last month's rent, what month are you talking about? I'm talking about the first and last I paid. Well, the first uh, last. When you moved when in, moved you paid in. Last, last month's month. rent. So I paid $1,500 okay. when I moved Now on the November rent, you had paid half of it. I paid, yes. I paid on November but 1st. But you stayed until the end of November. So I, how do you figure that if you stayed there all of November, you should get the half rent you paid back? Well, it's it's a little strange because uh, on November 1st, uh, under the impression that I was still living there and everything was was okay, I gave her $300 cash. She said she would uh, put the rental re the receipt under my door that I asked for. She never did. I don't think you deny that he paid you three seventy five dollars in rent in November, do you? He never paid me anything, Your Honor. Oh, you do deny He it. actually, in fact, owes me October rent as well as toiletries. Okay. So do you have a receipt? See, cash doesn't leave this hand until a receipt goes into this hand. If someone tells me they don't have a receipt, just take a piece of paper and a pen and have them write a receipt. There's no magic to a receipt. I know. Did you normally get receipts? Uh, it, only, honestly, only in the beginning when I first moved Okay, out. well, this is the cost of not getting receipts. She's denying that you paid her rent in November at all. All right, you don't have a receipt. Do you have like a withdrawal from the bank from that day? Anything. Anything? Um, uh, witnesses? Not with me, just them. Honestly, I, I gave. Yeah, they're her the not going to testify I know, for you. I know um, exactly. You know, if you don't feel like dealing with receipts nowadays, there's Venmo. That's an automatic receipt. You know, Zelle, or whatever Cash App. You know, then there's always a receipt of everything you do. You don't even have to bother yourself with a crayon and a roll of Towards toilet. the end, I, I honestly was asking for receipts very frequently when I paid. Either that, or yeah. towards the end, you weren't paying rent. One or the other. So in October, according to you, he still hadn't paid finished paying rent. That's correct. According Honor. to you, he owed how much in October? Um, in October, he owed me 150, 135 for past rent and $15 for toiletries that he never paid. What's your response to that you still owed $135 in October? I, I, have the, I have the text showing, telling her that I was on my way to give her the money. Okay, let me see that. Yeah, absolutely. 
And what happened with the text that say- He never came and showed up. No, that's not true. Okay. All right, so while he's looking for the receipts to prove up his case, let's talk about your case. You have a counterclaim against him for 2021-37. One of it is $827.35 for a washing machine. So are you saying it was 927.35? Because he's already given you 100. He has not given me anything, Your Honor. He never gave you $100 for the He machine? hasn't paid me anything. He's been backed up since October. How come if he didn't go there that day and pay it, there's no text from you saying you didn't come here and you didn't pay it? I think both of you are liars and that you're just, you've gone back in your heads now that there's a confrontation and you've figured out what the other side can't prove and then you're just claiming not to have gotten any of it. It's kind of disturbing to me. So what is an eight-year-old washing machine worth? What do you say? Um, eight-year-old, and it's a good washer. Probably like 200. $200, does that sound right? Does that sound high? What does it sound? A hundred. A hundred. <laughs> Sir? $50. <laughs> I'm going inside the courtroom because we're gonna owe you money if we go to somebody else, going inside. We've talked about the washing machine. We've talked about the balance. And now the money's for one month's rent owed December. Tell me about that. Why would he owe you December? I have a lease that's a month to month. And he didn't give you any notice. He did not give me a 30-day notice. Well, he gave you notice. notice. He didn't give you a 30-day notice. He did notice. not give me a 30-day notice, And a 30-day notice, day notice is required. So why do you get to just leave in a couple of days? Honestly, I thought I was doing her a favor by leaving early because okay. she didn't want to, you know, she didn't like me. And okay, you did collect, when he first came in, did you collect last month's rent in the initial lease? Yes. Okay, so there is 750 on your side. That's correct. And you had him write something down that said he broke the machine, didn't you? Yes, he offered on, via text message. He said, if I broke it, then I'll pay for it. Let me see it. Yes, thank you. Okay, so what evidence do you have that you actually paid the $100? Uh, it was part of the, the payment on 1025. I, I did, I think it was uh, an extra- Do you have any proof of that? I don't. Okay, let me tell you something. I agree that, that she's gonna have to prove that you broke the machine, okay? But I also agree that you're gonna have to prove that you paid the $100. So right. you're suing to get $100 back that you can't prove you paid and that she denies you ever paid her right. and that the agreement does not seem to, it, it, what it says is that you're gonna pay an additional 100 in rent and then we know that in November, you hadn't paid all the rent yet. So you're not entitled to that, okay? The 375 monies for half of November rent, which according to you, you paid 300 and you paid 75. She denies that you ever paid her that. And the minute you said it in the text, she immediately denied it and said, you are delusional. Take your meds. You never paid anything. You have no proof that you paid that either, right? There's nothing. There's no receipt. There's nothing for you to prove you paid it. I guess not. Okay. Now, you have a counterclaim against him. You want him to pay $827.35 for a washing machine. We've already been over that. I don't think you have proof that he broke it. Just because he's washing a comforter in there. I wash comforters in there. The thing broke when the thing broke. The timing is what the timing is. Yes, he agreed to pay for it, but then he changed his mind, and he can do that because there's no consideration for that promise. So I don't believe he owes you for the washing machine. I think he's right about that. You say he owes you a balance for October of $135. How are you going to prove that? I mean, you know, if you decide that it's not worth it to you to put things in writing, then you, you know, you guys end up with a pickle. And now the money's owed for one month's rent being December. That's interesting. Because he gives you no notice, which he admits. Money for lost wages, you're not entitled to that. So that's easy. You're not entitled to get last month's rent plus any rent you paid for a month you were actually there, which makes no sense, I don't know why you're suing for that, that you can't prove you paid. I believe that the 750 that you paid at the original part of the lease is what's gonna cover November because mm. you can't prove you paid November. And then the question becomes, is she entitled to another 750 because you didn't give notice and I find that she is. So as for your lawsuit against her, you're unable to prove it. And as for her lawsuit against you, I'm not ruling in her favor on the washing machine or the balance in October or the lost wages, but I am ruling in her favor on the rent for December because we all have to abide by the rules and the rules are 30 days notice. Net judgment then in favor of the defendant in the amount of $750. Thank you, Your Honor. So in this case where neither party had any really hard evidence to prove their case, the defendant does get the rent for November, just I mean, for December. I, for December, yeah, you're gonna have to pay that. Gosh, I don't know. I, I don't feel like I owe her anything. All right, sorry it is what about it that. is.
Okay. All right. Have a good one. Hope you learned something. You need receipts, man. You need know, receipts. Man. Get them next time. Get them. Get them. All right, Trina, you're lucky too. You know, you didn't have. You got to force people to take receipts. You've That's learned right. something, right? Yes, I have. I mean, really. Um, you're lucky to get the rent, so you got seven hundred fifty. I'm very not lucky. I deserve it because the way he left was very unfair. Okay. You know, that's just not how you do things. I treated him very well as a tenant there, okay. and I'm just grateful that I was able to get that. Good enough. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. You must sign some documents on your way out of the courtroom, Harvey. So uh, here's the deal: that you have to give thirty days notice in most states in order to get your security back. Um, even if the lease doesn't specify the amount of notice, in most states, the law says tenants have to give 30 days.